Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be talking to you guys about the planet Saturn in astrology and all the wonderful associations including the great and oh so wonderful and oh so scary Saturn return. So anyways I just kind of thought that who better to bring you this message than probably one of the most Saturnian people you will ever meet with my Sun in Capricorn, my Venus in Capricorn, which also makes a connection with Saturn, by the way, as well, conjunction. Um, my Saturn, of course, in Capricorn, which is ruled by Capricorn. Um, I've also got my Uranus in Capricorn, my Neptune in Capricorn, and I've also got my North Node in Capricorn, mostly in the 8th house, some in the 7th house. So if you're interested in the 8th house, this is the video for you as well. Enjoy! So Saturn is ruled by the sign of Capricorn. It is represented as the father figure in astrology. It also rules over karma and basically like what you reap, you will sow. So it kind of like basically the hard work that you put in now is the results that you will get later that you will likely be very grateful for. Um, Saturn is also the ruler of large buildings, corporations, CEOs, death. Saturn is the structures and foundations of our life. It rules over schedules, hard work, career. The 10th house in astrology is ruled by Capricorn and the 10th house has to do with pe the way people see us in the world, our destiny, our purpose, who we ultimately become, our reputation, our career. So every year the sun is in Capricorn from roughly December 21st to January 20th, depending on the year. So with Capricorn and Saturn in general, there is a heavy association with the winter time, with snow and ice and cold and kind of holding back on emotions, going within. Heavy introspection, um, hibernation, lack, having less, living frugally as well, as most people traditionally over the years have had to in the winter before kind of more modern times in a lot of places in the world. So for anyone whose chart is either heavily ruled by the sign of Capricorn, the planet Saturn, or for anyone who's just going through their Saturn return, there's often a great feeling of frustration, restriction, limitations, pressure, heaviness, perhaps even an exhaustion, even mild feelings of depression or maybe even severe. It often feels kind of like there can be a wall up either between you and the world or you and whatever it is you're trying to achieve. There can be a feeling of difficulty in moving forward, a feeling of being held back, questioning your career and the path that you're currently on. Usually during the Saturn return is when people kind of ask themselves, hey, is this really what I enjoy? Is this really who I am? Do I want to keep doing this for the next 20, 30 years? Or is now the time to look into something else? Um, there's also, some people can get more serious when it comes to relationships around this time. Like a lot of people get married around the time of their Saturn return, around the ages of 27 to say 32, which is when that energy is generally strongest in someone's chart. Saturn is kind of like the great wise teacher. So during the time of someone's Saturn return, it can almost feel like a test or an initiation. So on the more positive note, a lot of people can receive, you know, large advancements in their career if they're willing to put in the hard work. So when we're talking about wisdom and success, what do we often associate with, with these things? That would be old age. And some people can find that during their Saturn return, they can either feel really old or they can actually find that they look a bit older. Once they come out of it, they can have like some slight fine lines starting out all of a sudden that just seem to have come out of nowhere. So Saturn is really the ultimate test of becoming an adult and being responsible. So forget drinking and partying and staying out late and just hanging out with friends and being ultimately irresponsible just like you did in your university or college days because Saturn will change things. Saturn will make things hard and different and all of a sudden you'll have to be mature in ways that you'd never imagined you'd have to before. All of a sudden it's like you're working so hard and there's so much pressure that you just don't have the same time that you had to go out and party with friends all the time. Or maybe your body will stop um, 
letting you do it. Like all of a sudden it's like you can't just drink and stay out all night and go to work and be productive still the next day. The Saturn return is also a time in many people's lives where they start questioning old friendships and habits that no longer serve them. Maybe there are friends that you've been hanging out with since elementary school or high school and it's like you look at them and you're like aren't they doing exactly what we did when we were like 20 like people are just still going out like going to festivals and it's like people just don't really have any direction in their life or maybe your interests change or you're more motivated than the people that you used to hang out with and all of a sudden you're just not as interested in them as you used to be so the impact that Saturn will have on you personally will have to do with the sign Saturn is in, the contact Saturn makes with other planets in your personal natal chart, as well as the house that Saturn is in. For instance, my Saturn is in the eighth house and the eighth house is ruled by Scorpio. So some of the things that the eighth house and Scorpio rule are transformation, letting go of things and situations that no longer serve you, hidden things, secrets, psychology, joint affairs, which includes intimacy with others, um, other people's money, sex, death, and taxes. Fun stuff. So since Saturn is ruled by Capricorn and is currently in the sign of Capricorn, I say that it basically just strengthens the Saturn. Um, some people say that it's a detriment and it makes it even harder. I say it probably makes it a little bit easier because you're kind of more equipped with that Saturnian Capricorn kind of responsible energy. I don't know. It's all a big, interesting surprise. Anyways, my Saturn also is conjunct with Venus, as I mentioned before, in the eighth house. And um, Venus rules over things like relationships, beauty, and wealth. So my Saturn return will encompass lessons to do with those things. And your Saturn will encompass lessons to do with whatever connections it makes in your very own chart. So I encourage you to check that out. So the first Saturn return occurs between the ages of roughly... 28 to 31, give or take a year or two. My Saturn return actually started when I was 26, like about a month away from turning 27. That's when Saturn went back into Capricorn. So it can happen as early as then and probably as late as maybe 33, I'd say as well. The second Saturn return happens between the ages of 56 and 60. Once again, give or take a couple years, depending on when you were born personally. If you are interested in either calculating your Saturn return or finding out more about the sign your Saturn is in, when the Saturn return will occur exactly for you, or the house that it's in and contacts that Saturn makes in your chart, I will put a couple links below to some websites that you can use to calculate that. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful. I will probably be putting out more videos about the Saturn return as I am currently going through mine. So yeah, anyways, talk to you guys. Enjoy. Bye.